Good day, people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, we have a pretty interesting setups in uh, gold and silver. We are going to discuss uh, gold and silver only, and we have a pretty interesting setups in both of them. Uh, as if you are not aware, I have been uh, bearish from in gold and silver. I'm expecting for gold and bearish uh, silver to be more for more bearish. And first, we'll look at the. <coughs> pardon me, I have some um, flu, so you'll. And I'm not not really good at editing, so you'll have to excuse me for the cough, occasional cough. Um, so first, we are going to look at the larger time frame analysis, and then we'll look at the small time frame analysis. I'm of the point of view that we are to see a very surprising move in gold and silver both. Uh, although gold seems to be right at the close to the top of the range. And the range I'm talking about is this one right over here. And then it seems very close to the top of it, but I'm expecting that we are going to see some very, very surprising move. And then we are going to see gold somewhere uh, towards around 1270-ish area, right over here. And this is expected to happen uh, somewhere around the end of uh, August 2024. Uh, I've put a lot of research on it. These figures are not coming without any uh, research. They are not generate, being generated from thin air. So I'm still bearish on gold and silver both. And my point of view, a lot of people start asking the fundamental analysis. I do not do normally fundamental analysis, but I believe that the interest rates uh, will keep rising. All right. The interest rates are not going to come down soon. And the increased interest rates will, um, will contract the economy, will contract the money supply. As a result, people will start cutting their positions on and will see strong bearish move, not only in gold and silver, also in um, forex pairs. I'm expecting US dollar to be bullish and I'm expecting Euro, British pound, Canadian dollar, Australian dollar are to be bearish. So all basket currencies in US dollar index are expected to be bearish and US dollar itself is expected to be bullish. There's another reason that will push gold and silver down because US dollar, um, because it's one of the major currencies gold is uh, traded. If one pair goes up, if one side of the pair goes up, the other would go down. So I'm expecting um, in that case. Fundamental analysis has said that I do not believe that interest rates are going to go down any soon, um, no matter what the Fed says. Even now, even um, I think they started to come out with a possibility that okay, our fundamentals are looking really good and. There is a possibility that the rate cuts are not going to happen, and there is also a possibility that the rate cuts, uh, that rates will start increasing, keep on increasing. I would say. So a lot of uh, research, uh, I have put a lot of work and research on it. I'm expecting a strong bearish move in gold and silver. Both gold expected to drop almost 40% from the top, and silver expected to drop uh, around 60%. The target for silver is somewhere around $10 US per ounce. Uh, let's have a look at a larger pattern. The, bat the pattern is expected to be an A, B, and C pattern. Uh, this being a top and you're expecting a 5-wave structure. This is a 3-wave structure, a 3-wave structure, which is a double zigzag right now I'm considering it at. And then we're expecting a 5-wave structure further down, a sharper move. Even if you consider that we are expecting a sharper move, but last uh, few weeks have been quite interesting. We have seen very tight range in prices only the last week. Uh, we started to see a break in. For example, this time spent right over here was quite annoying for a lot of people. Um, but right from the top, I've been mentioning that we are bearish. So one thing that has happened is right around the top. This is the top from um, the right over here too. This is the top. This is and then this is the top. We haven't seen prices shoot up. So it's, even though it has spent a lot of time. If still we haven't seen prices to shoot up even then uh, there's a Ukraine war going on and in the situation in Gaza is pretty horrible so even still uh, we haven't seen nothing all right uh, otherwise looking at the fundamental conditions gold should be shooting up if you are just looking at the trouble sometimes uh, but it's not the case so we'll calm down and see how what is expected on a daily time frame a lot of people are looking at this chart and uh, if they are aware of Elliott wave analysis they're really happy they said oh we got two trading setups very easy the price has gone up come down we have seen a bounce right around the b bottom that means the prices will continue right over here that should accompany an a b and c or there is also a possibility that this is the first leg of the correction this is the second leg of the correction and this is the third leg of the correction and that's it we shall continue right over here I don't think so that's the case. We are seeing a correction right around the bottom. This is a very, very important signal that we have to look on a smaller time frame. 
and it also um, occurs on the other side on the bullish side as well so a smaller time frame correction right around the double top or the double bottom or the triple bottom and the triple top is very very crucial once price starts below this it is going to be expecting quite sharply down i'm expecting that 1890 is our target for the drop price so uh, let's have a look at a four hourly time frame chart and i'll show you guys something and then i have another chart uh, in silver we look at silver and that will um, also bring it to uh, the scenario that we are expected to see bearish price action in next week so this is what i'm looking at right now i'm expecting that we are going to see sharper bearish move uh, and somewhere around 1890 all right this is going to be a very interesting area right over here because 1890 is <coughs> uh, is a very important uh, support zone so we're expecting a bearish action in next i would say uh, two to three days in gold stronger bearish action if this is the entry point i believe that we can use the previous high which is right over here 2045 um, as a stop loss and then we can expect the prices to come further down at this point let's uh, have a look at generate a, a short trade as well so i would say that we can enter right over here and we can come down for the prices to somewhere around uh, i would say let's bring it to 1900 all right around figure 1900 and then we can put our stop loss uh, right over here so this is the trading setup i believe that we are going i'm going to go as soon as the market opens i already have a bearish position that's open but this is uh, an ideal setup for trading uh, so we can look at risk to reward ratio which is 3.41 which is pretty good uh, normally people go should go for one to ratio three um, but if you can find a very trading good trading setup somewhere around one to 2.52 that's also good depending on how strong is the possibility probability of becoming a true so i'm still bearish on gold and silver even on smaller time frame and i believe that we'll see start seeing some support coming in and then we might see a jump upward in that case the previous low swing the previous swings low would be really important uh, so let's have a look and the way i'm looking at it i'm looking at it right from the top we are still going on the correction move that actually started sorry the, the swing that actually started from the top is still going on uh, and I believe that will continue further down. So it's an important uh, point to understand. And um, I believe the next week is going to be very, very interesting. Okay. Let's have a look at silver. And uh, if you can have a look at silver, where is my? Oh, right here. So here is silver. Now, silver is pretty interesting. Let's have a look at. Uh, first, let me delete that and then we'll draw it, okay? Well, here is silver. We have done, the reason I'm looking at it is that you can clearly see a correctional structure right over here. Very, very interesting structure. We have our initial drop and then we have a correction and then we have, I would not say that this is the completion of the, the move. I would say that the wave that actually started from over here is still continuing, is carrying on. So we are expecting for the price to come down further. All right, either it's complete or not complete. You can clearly uh, look at a flat correction, and then you can look at look at the support zone coming in here as well. So very very important. We can put our stop loss at just previous. I would say we can use this area, but uh, if you want to see a daily time frame bar reversing or just wait for the price to just come back a bit down in that case we can wait for the price uh, use this area as a stop loss which is 24 dollar and eight cents so i would say if i enter right over here where is our short position so i would say that if prices come down a bit and this is the top as well and this is the top so i should wait for the prices to come down a bit lower than this top somewhere over here i shall make the entry once I make the entry, I can use this area to put the stop loss right over here. That would be $24.08. And I'm waiting for the price to come down and close the trade right over here, uh, somewhere around $20.90. Now, this could be a stronger move as well, uh, and we can extend the trade further, but I think we're going to see definitely the low hand coming right over here too. So very interesting um, trading setup. And I hope that I was of some assistance. Um, as far as the bearish move is concerned in in silver, let's have a look. Let me delete this. The larger move I'm saying. 
so this is uh, three days chart we can come down and for the larger move is concerned this is what i'm expecting that we are expecting somewhere around this top which is 62 percent right from this top it's very important we are going to see this um, but i think the smaller time frame and trade is very interesting we are expecting for the prices to drop somewhere around 2090 ish wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye